Welcome to the fifth episode about fountain modeling. In this episode, we will prepare a water stream in Niagara Paragol system. Click right mouse button in Content Browser and create Niagara system. Click Next and select the fountain template. Then we give the file a name and drag it to the scene. Using the top view, I put the emitter in the right place. Now I open the created Niagara system with a double click. The first thing I want to do is change the sprite of water. I click on the sprite renderer option and check if I have any splash or refract texture in the project. I didn't find anything like that, but this is where the free Niagara Footsteps VFX package comes in handy. Let's add this to the project. When the files are imported, we will see the folder from the package in the content browser. Now return to the Niagara system and check the sprite renderer option again to see if there is any new textures. If so, choose one of them. I chose M Splash Refract. Particles clearly appear, but there are too few of them and they themselves are too small. We go to the spawn rate option and change the value from 90 to for example 10,000. Now our water is visible, but we still need to make some changes to it. Let's start by resizing individual water sprites. Let's go to the initialize particle option and increase the uniform sprite scale parameters. The next step will be to add a few additional options that are not available in the fountain emitter. We are adding a new emitter, uncheck the library only checkbox, find pen water waves in the parameter emitters tab and add it. We are interested in the color and sprite size scale options. Select them, copy and paste them into our fountain. The newly added emitter can be deleted. In the Add Velocity tab, we can manipulate the power and angle of the water emission. I start looking at the options I have available to match the shape of the filling water to my fountain. I test many of the options and check how they look, so if you are interested in the final values, go to the minute 6.37.
Here are all the options shown from the top to bottom if anyone would like to copy them. Now we duplicate the created particle system and also place it on the scene by moving it to the appropriate place. In the settings of newly created Niagara system, enter shape location and change shape primitive from sphere to cylinder. Now we adjust a cone angle and velocity in such a way that it resembles dripping water. The cylinder radius option will allow us to adjust the radius of our emitter. Then, using the modeling option, we create a simple cylinder. Now, using Polygroup Edit, we can get rid of one base of the wall to leave a flat pancake that will be our base for the water surface in the fountain. Using Edit Pivot from the XForm option, we can adjust the pivot to the center of our object. Now we have the base ready, we can check whether it fits the fountain. I found that the water was slightly too invisible, so I increased the scale of individual water emitters. Now from All Classes tab, I select Water Body Custom available from the Water plugin. In the settings we find the Water Mesh Override tab. We expand it and select the cylinder we have just created. Thanks to this, we know that we have a water surface in a size that perfectly fits our fountain. We adjust its scale and position, then duplicate it and place it one floor below. After completing these steps, we now have a game-ready textured Blender object with a working particle system in Unreal. This particle was created thanks to the Newman Brothers tutorial. The link will be in the description. If you liked the episode, subscribe for more.